Okay, from giving people asylum to people who should be in one. Former chairman of the Democratic National Committee, Howard Dean, dropped in on Olby Wednesday night to talk about the meanies in the Republican Party. Open your ear holes now. <coughs> The Republicans are going to have a long way to go here if they if this is their first tack. They've got to figure out how to reach the moderate middle, and you don't do it by calling people fascists and all this other kind of business. I don't laugh at the Republicans because they were pretty effective in winning elections for a long time. But I just scratch point. my head and think, you know, what are they? The, it, obviously, polling <laughs> does not tell you to call the president of the United States a fascist. Mm, apparently, whatever medical treatment Dean has been receiving has erased his memory of the last eight years. Yeah. Check this out. Check this outers. Somebody had called President Bush really dreadful names like that. I would have said, look, uh, we disagree with President Bush uh, strongly. And he's wrong about the war in Iraq, for example, or the, or the d huge deficits that he ran up. But he is the president, and, and we're going to be respectful of him. Mm -hmm. And as the people at Oberman Watch noted, there might be a reason Keith felt a little uncomfortable. You're a fascist. What else is this but fascism? This advice, Mr. Bush, shut the hell up! Get them to print you a T-shirt with fascist on it. <laughs> he's he's so still on the fence. He really he's sexy when he's mad. But then Obi calmed down when he was given a flower. Mm. Tender. Yes, it really is. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's so calm. Uh, Uncanny resentment. I know. Yes. You, Governor, after all the names the Democrats have caused, pre called President Bush, how hypocritical is it for Howard Dean to claim that this kind of thing is now beyond the pale? I liked Howard better when he was screaming. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He, he, was, he was more honest and not so disingenuous. How could he do that with a straight face? I don't know. Unbelievable. And especially on of all shows, it would be one thing for him to say that on Meet the Press. Yeah. But for him to go on the Olbermann show yeah. and to say that. But you know what's interesting? We were talking about this in the green room about how on both sides of the political fence there are crazies but it's weird how both of them have blind spots it's like this guy will say we really have to be more compassionate blah 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 but then they'll have Janine Garofalo on to say that all conservatives have mental illnesses but then you also see the right saying these people should be nicer and doing the same thing it's a weird weird thing am I right that's why we're, we're the only sane people there are <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. Let's we're, keep we're it all that this way, way. Huddle up. yes that's right. <laughs> group hug and or make up oh uh, please pass. the governor is here Bill I told you to keep it clean <laughs> one day. night hey uh, Kimberly doesn't it seem like yes. the Democrats though are really good at dishing it out but they can't take it yeah and the double speaks totally hypocritical and Howard Dean still freaks me out did I ever tell you about the time that I was on vacation and it's huge <laughs> buzz kill and there I was in a bikini with a margarita and the phone rings and it's Howard Dean no joke and I thought it was like a crank call then I I thought it was one of those robocalls, and I kept trying to hang up on him. But it was really him, and he wouldn't go away. So every time I what see was he him, calling you about? it's like post-traumatic stress what disorder. He, what did he want? He wanted an endorsement. What do they all want? Really? It was when he was running for Prez. And look at where he's gone. What kind Poor of bikini man. was it? <laughs> that is an amazing story. Way to story. focus. Bikini. String, and maybe? Allison has, rocks no salt. Allison, has Howard <laughs> Dean ever called you? <laughs> Uh, oh, totally. No, he te he texts me late at night. He totally booty texts me, and I'm like, Howard, I've told you. No. He always signs off with Howie. Yeah, he yeah. Here's the thing. I'm all in favor of name calling, though. But everyone knows that if you really want to get to someone, don't call them fascist. Call them fat. Oh, yeah. Yes. And here's another thing, though. I think this clip was taken out of context. Really? And that maybe Oberman meant it as a compliment. Oh, I had no he idea. He didn't condemn fascism. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's he just said it. Said it. it was part of a whole pro-fascism blog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Pinch, I'm afraid of going in this, but you probably think it's okay to say nasty thing, things about Republicans, but it's unfair to say them about Democrats. You know what? I'm going to have to respectfully decline on commenting in this particular story, <laughs> as I happen to be close friends with Mr. Oberman. We have a book club together, don't you know? Really? Indeed. <laughs> what is it called? Huh? It's called a book club, Greg. The one that we're, uh, the one that we're uh, reading right now is Are You God There? It's Me, Margaret. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wonderful, wonderful story about a girl she blossoms into womanhood. <laughs> oh, Oberman was crying about it just last week. <laughs> That's, I'm glad I asked. Okay. I'm glad yeah, you did ask. All right, just shut I'd up. I'd much now. rather talk about the book club. All right, from acting like Can a... Can I still talk about it? No, you can't. From acting <laughs> like... Blue. Oh. Uh, Howard Dean on Oberman. Hey, Kimberly, can you tell the bikini and margarita story again? Exactly. I have a yeah, photo seriously. of that. And if you do an really? enhanced interrogation, I might bring it in for the next show. Or something like this. All right. That, that sounded like an invitation to me. <laughs> you are like a... Kimberly, girl, go, Apparently you're, you're like an animated, you're like an animated person. Yes. <laughs> you need to be when you're a lawyer.
so happy and frozen in the dungeon here. <laughs> <laughs> Got a margarita with your name all where over. They put the uh, so since Howard Dean is against name calling and now is all in favor of civility, I'm hoping he, he'll seek apologies from the prominent Democrats who said these things. Uh, you know, the Republicans are not very friendly to different kinds of people. And uh, this President Bush is not interested in being a good president. He's interested in some complicated psychological situation that he has with his father. Mm -hmm. uh, and John Ashcroft is not a patriot. John Ashcroft is a descendant of Joseph McCarthy. Mm -hmm. And of course, I hate the Republicans and everything they stand for. So anyway, if Howard Dean could get apologies from himself, that would be great. Yeah. yeah.